Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa, and Tim Ford, the lead engineer on Overwatch, has posted a thread on, well, has posted an update to a thread about no reg shots. So what I mean by that is this. See, Junkrat just got shot twice there and didn't actually die, although Hanzo clearly shot him. We're going to see this in much clearer de detail here from uh, Kefri, a beautiful Widowmaker player. You should check him out on Twitch. Look at this. That is clearly a hit there, yet nothing has actually happened to the player. Now, this happens a hell of a lot in Overwatch. This is because, well, it's a very complicated game that uses all kinds of different weapon profiles, things like projectile weapons, hit scan weapons, melee weapons. It's just so insane. This game is such a ridiculously difficult thing for pro to program in terms of netcode. Anyway, what we've got here, or what I'm about to show you, is the netcode explanation video that Tim Ford actually put up onto the official Overwatch channel. Now, I'm going to let these guys talk, so listen to this. So, uh, speaking of values, um, one of our first values is what we call favor the shooter. What favor the shooter means is if you line your crosshair up over a target and fire, you should, under most circumstances, hit that target. Absolutely, except in the case where the target does something to mitigate it. An example of that might be Tracer blinking out of the way or a Reaper using Wraith form. We mentioned that there's, just like there are exceptions to responsiveness, there are also re uh, exceptions to this favor the shooter value. Um, one of those is, uh, that's already in the game today, is something like Reaper's Wraith form. If on the, on the, uh, on the target client, they hit shift and they started their Wraith form, um, if the server has acknowledged that, but the shooter hasn't, the shooter will try to shoot Reaper and the server will honor the mitigation. The ser server will not damage Reaper because the server knows that Reaper has already used Wraith Form. Um, in that case, the shooter will get a hit registration miss prediction. They'll see like the little tiny blood splatter, but they won't see the health bar, they won't see the hit pip. So this is explaining the favor the shooter value. Now, what that is, is it generally favors you, the shooter, when you're firing at a target because it will feel better if when you're doing something, it's actually like being registered by the server, unless something like a Reaper Wraith form is used. In that case, it gives a little bit of leeway to the person using that kind of ability. So it won't favor the shooter in that example. However, there have been a lot of issues with this. Now, I know a lot of you guys have probably been in situations where you've fired at people and nothing has happened. Like, I've thrown pulse bombs out and they've gone missing. It's like, what? I've shot people, clearly they should be dead, and yet they haven't died. So Tim goes into detail. Issues where we understand the problem and are working on a fix, issues for which we have a fix on deck or a recently deployed fix, and issues which are not defects but deliberate trade-offs against favor the shooter. So let's look at each of these in turn. The biggest outstanding issue emerges from how we reconcile lost player input on the server. Whenever your input doesn't make it consistently to the server because of connection inconsistency, there's a chance that the server will not replicate your aim synchronized with when you press the fire button. This error is exacerbated by recoil-based weapons since your aim will certainly have changed the frame after you fire a recoiling weapon. If the server doesn't honor your aim direction at the moment you fired because of packet loss, you will very likely mispredict. Now, what this means in English is, when you're sending data to the server, if there's a bit of an interruption there, so maybe you don't send information for a split second to the server, that information might be when you sort of aim in a different location. And so you aim and fire on your screen. Obviously, it looks smooth, but some of that information hasn't been sent to the server. So the server doesn't actually know where you're aiming and updates to where you are currently aiming, but not where you were aiming when you fired the shot and the connection was lost with the server, which might explain what happened with Hanzo and what happened with the Widowmaker at the start of this video. But what's more interesting is they've actually got a fix in progress for Hanzo. So this is what he says for that. We have a fix for a host of Hanzo related mispredict issues. We identified a defect in how we process successive shots after poor network conditions affected prior shots. So you can see how like insanely compl like, compl complex all of this is. It sounds complex to me just reading this off. The Hanzo fix will go live with the next major patch. In addition, we deployed a fix where a target's collision could be displaced from where they were drawn on screen by as much as 16 milliseconds. That's, that's a long time there. We fixed a bug where your player position and therefore your gun position should have mispredicted shots, would have, sorry, mispredicted shots when you were moving in close proximity to other players. So this might explain the Junkrat issues. 
This bug primarily affected our close range hitscan heroes like Reaper and Roadhog. So I don't know, maybe it did affect Hanzo, we're not sure. But what he does go on to say is, and this actually does highlight some of the issues with the, like when the game doesn't favor the shooter, or not really issues, but it, it gives us more clarification on this. There are a handful of videos in this thread that demonstrate some of the deliberate trade-offs we made against our favor the shooter philosophy. Any shot mispredicted against a dashing Genji, Mercy, Tracer, or Doomfist is deliberate. A handful of other abilities exhibit this behavior as well, so when Winston jumps, Farrah leaps, Sombra translocate, etc. We have rules in place where we will not favor the shooter if your target executes one of these maneuvers. This is a trade-off that we have made to accommodate the realities of the internet. Now, the reason why it doesn't favor the shooter there is because imagine if you used your Wraith form and then died during Wraith form. That would be really, you'd be like, what's going on? I'm supposed to be immune. That's why it favors the shooter there. For Doomfist, it would favor, it would, uh, sorry, not favor the shooter. It would not favor Doomfist. Doomfist when he pops his ultimate because he goes into an invulnerable state. So if you're firing at Doomfist and then he ultimates, sometimes you might kill him or you should have killed him, especially if you're playing Hanzo, right? Firing the arrow into him. But it might hit him, but because he's pressed his ultimate key, actually he's invulnerable there. So even though it's hit on your screen, it's not actually been hit, right? So that happens a lot and it obviously is there to make it a more fluid, enjoyable experience. Obviously, sometimes it can feel kind of bad because you've clearly shot that person, but because they've used an ability which should mean that they don't take damage and they haven't actually used it, like they've used it just after you fired at them, but it's so close, the server's like, okay, we don't favor the shooter anymore. Now, he does go on to say that all of the um, data they've collected None of this is new issues. This has actually been in the game since beta. Um, but he does enjoy the fact they've got a passionate community and everybody likes to tell Blizzard, uh, you know, well, they like to scrutinize their game. <laughs> yes, we do. So there you go. That's been a bit of an update on the way the hit reg system works and the fact that we've had no hit detection in some cases and why that will always kind of be the case for some heroes. Like, if you play Hanzo a lot, you're probably always going to see this. Like, not all of the time. It's not enough to, for it to, like, break the game. But there has to be concessions in place because at the end of the day, everybody has a different speed of internet connection. Everybody is a different distance away from the Overwatch servers. Um, so it takes time for my computer to communicate with the server and then the server sends information back to me but it's also sending my information to all of the other people playing the game that are connected so another 11 players and i'm also receiving their information and they might be sending information at different rates than me so can you see how insanely complicated this is honestly the guys that work on that code must be absolute geniuses tim ford has got to be an absolute genius member of, of, of Mensa, right? Because I do not understand this stuff. To even try and comprehend it is ridiculous. But I hope that in this video, I've at least kind of explained some of it to you guys. But yeah, they are working on this no hit reg issue. So hopefully in the future, it will get better as more updates come out. All right, guys, I've been Salosa. This is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.